Okay, welcome back for question five, part B. Let me just make sure, is it question five? Yeah, five, part B. Um, I just decided to do it on another video because it was going to get too long. All right, so five, part B. This is from the specimen paper four of the June 2020, or the new 2020 um, specification. Okay, a car completes a... 200 kilometers journey at an average speed of x kilometers per hour the car completes the return journey of 200 kilometers at an average speed of x plus 10 kilometers per hour show that the difference between the time taken for each of the two journeys is 2000 over x times x plus 10 hours okay so now we're dealing with distance we're dealing with speed and we're dealing with time okay because they're asking us to find the difference between the times taken okay so let's think about the outward journey so we got the outward journey and we got the return journey okay the outward journey remember we got speed equals distance over time for the outward journey we've got the distance is given as 200 kilometers and the speed is given as x kilometers per hour and we have to deal with finding what the time is. And for the return journey, the distance is also 200 kilometers. And the speed is now x plus 10. So the speed is increased. That means the time must be less. If you increase the speed, you cover the distance at a quicker pace. Okay, so the time, again, we don't know. Let's call this time out and time return okay and we have to show that the difference um, taken between the time for each of the two journeys is 2000 of x times x plus 10 okay so let's deal with this let's say okay we know that speed equals distance over time therefore time is equal to distance over speed so um, it's average speed so that's fine so we're going to have this the time outward is going to be the distance covered which is 200 over the speed which is x and the time to return is going to be the distance covered which is 200 over the speed which is x plus 10 so this is going to be now in hours so it should show that the difference between the two times the time taken for each of the two journeys is 2000 over x times x plus 10. So which is going to be the bigger time? It's better to put bigger minus smaller. As we mentioned, if you're going at a, a faster speed, the time is going to be less. So we know that the time going out must be greater than the time coming back because this time is, the speed is more, so the time is going to be less. So let's do, we know that the difference between the time going out and the time returning is going to be 200 over x minus 200 over x plus 10. So we have to basically add these two algebraic fractions together. Okay, so in order to do that, we have to express them with the same denominator. So to make these the same denominator, I've got to multiply this by x plus 10. Therefore, I multiply the top by, in fact, I'll do it on another line so that it's a bit clearer for everyone. That's 200 over x here. Let me just go down a bit. I've got a bit of space there. Let's move this down over there. So we're going to have that's equal to. So I'm going to make these the same denominator. So I'll make them as x times x plus 10. This is one way of doing it, by the way. There's another way. And this is x times x plus 10. So I've made them the same denominator. When you subtract or add fractions, you have to make the denominators the same. So in order to make this x times x plus 10, I had to multiply the top by x plus 10. So, otherwise it won't be equivalent fraction. So you have 200 times x plus 10 minus, and here I have to multiply the denominator by x to make it x times x plus 10. So I have to multiply the numerator by x as well. So now I have one common denominator, which is x times x plus 10, which I don't have to expand because the question has it in that form. And then I'm going to have 200 times x plus 200 times 10 is 2,000. And I'm going to have minus 200x. And as you can see, the 200x is 
200x and minus 200x cancels out, and you're left with what we're asked to show, which is 2000 over x times x plus 10. Okay, so the question looks a bit complicated. A lot of students are afraid of such questions, but if you just keep your cool about yourself, you'll be fine. If you practice lots of questions like this, you'll be absolutely fine. No problems whatsoever. Okay, then it says, um, f just make sure that it's the right thing. 2000 over x plus times x plus 10. Yeah. This says, find the difference between the time taken for each of the two journeys when x equals 80. So basically, the time taken, uh, the difference between the time taken for each of the two journeys is basically what we've got here. This was time outward minus time returning. That expression is the difference between the time taken. So we're going to have to do 2000 divided by, instead of x, we're going to write 80. So that's going to be 80 times 90, basically. So you have 2000 divided by 80 times 90, okay, which is 72 and 2000. Two whoops, 2000. So it's going to be 2000 over 7200. Okay, so let's just write it down. So you've got 2000 over 80 times 90, which is going to give you 5 over 18. So I'll leave it as a fraction for now. And we've got to convert the answer into minutes and seconds. So this is in hours. This is in hours because our answer here was in hours. We had kilometers per hour and we had kilometers. So the answer was in hours for the time. So we've got to convert 5 eighths hours into minutes and seconds. To convert it into minutes, we multiply by 60. So we're going to have hours to minutes, it's smaller to larger, multiplication by what? How many minutes in an hour? 60. So we take this fraction and we multiply it by 60 and we get 50 over 3, which I'm going to write as an improper fraction, which is 16, let me write it as an improper fraction like this, it's 16 and 2 thirds. So this is equal to 16 and 2 thirds so this was this is now in hours okay so this is this is in our in minutes sorry this is now in minutes okay so 5 over 8 times 60 we converted this into now minutes so this is 16 and 2 thirds minutes so it means we've got the answer as 16 whole minutes and then we have 2 thirds of a minute so 2 thirds of a minute is going to be 2 thirds times 60 seconds Okay, two times two thirds two thirds times sixty seconds. So three goes into sixty two times, that's forty seconds. Two thirds of sixty is forty, so it's sixteen minutes and forty seconds, and there we have the answer. Um now there is a way to do this in your calculator, um, but I'm not gonna show you that right now. When I do some of the other past papers I will. For those I'm gonna go through a session where we do one of the actual past papers closer to the exam. And I'm going to show you how to do some of the, the calculator functions that will help you if you get stuck and you're just your mind goes blank. But for now, it's better for you to be able to do this without using the calculator so you understand what's going on. Sometimes you get algebraic problems which involve this kind of thing and your calculator won't help you then. Okay, I think, was that the last part of this question? Yes, it was. Okay, so number six will be on another video. So thank you for watching. I hope that was quite clear. And... Um, as I said, the, you know, the, the description below contains links to the playlists for this video, for the topic of algebra, also contains links for my other uh, material on IGCSE, AS and A-level uh, maths. Okay? And the playlist should show up around the top of the screen about now that you can click and it will go take you to other questions on the playlist. Okay, and if you subscribe to my channel on this link over here, it will then, you know, you'll be able to see the videos as they come up. You'll get notifications and so on. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.